Mr. President, will you retaliate against Russia for this latest ransomware attack? We're looking closely at that issue. Do you think Putin is testing you? No. President Biden plans a meeting with Vladimir Putin, 12 days, 13 days from now in Geneva. Katie Pavlich now on that angle. Editor townhall.com and a Fox News contributor. Katie, good morning to you. How much consideration morning, have you Bill. given to how much this topic is covered and what comes from it in Switzerland? Well, it certainly should be covered more considering uh, bad actors being harbored in Russia are attacking critical infrastructure here in the United States. I don't think it's a coincidence that the Colonial Pipeline was held hostage, which, of course, uh, caused a gas shortage all along the East Coast, panic buying. Now you have uh, a major meat packing plant being held hostage by uh, similar criminal enterprises being protected, essentially, by the Russian government. And everyone should understand that things don't happen in Russia when it comes to hacking a foreign countries critical infrastructure, even if they are private businesses, without Vladimir Putin knowing. And you have the Russians openly saying before this meeting between President Biden and President Vladimir Putin that we should feel some uncomfortable signals. Well, we've had two major cyber attacks uh, leading up to this meeting. Uh, we have seen zero deterrence when it comes to preventing the next one. It's not, you know, it's not like the Colonial Pipeline hack happened and there was a deterrent signal sent. This second attack happened. And the question is, which one is next? Will these bad actors being harbored again in Russia go after the hospital system? Will they go after the electrical grid? Which next piece of critical infrastructure will they decide to target? And so, it clearly, uh, President Biden wants to meet with Vladimir Putin, but up to this point, he's shown signs of weakness. Of course, he took off the sanctions on the Nord Stream 2 pipeline, which will essentially give Russia control over Western Europe's uh, uh, energy, which is quite contrary to the promise of NATO that we've seen. You know, if we're all supposed to come together to battle Russia, and yet Russia is now in charge of a lot of the energy sor sources for Europe, uh, that comes into question. So there's a lot of factors here, uh, lots of questions about how the administration will respond. Yeah. And finally, you know, Jen Psaki keeps saying that this is a private sector problem, that these private companies need to deal with this. Well, that may be true, but it is the federal government's job to protect private companies that are engaged in critical infrastructure in the United States from foreign attacks from bad actors through deterrence. And right now, that's clearly not happening. I, I think you make a number of, uh, of excellent points there. O on that last point, with Jillian's guest a moment ago, uh, th there are countless private companies that have not upgraded their technology to protect from the outside uh, those hackers who want to get their information and their data and then threaten that company with making it public. Company doesn't want that to happen. Uh, my sense is that this has been going on with private industry in America for a couple years now, and now they're reaching out to the more public companies that we are more exposed to. Your point about the federal government, what does Joe Biden do on that front? H how does he give a signal to these companies that we've got your back on this stuff and we can work together on it? Well, I do think that, you know, it's very clear that private companies need to make better investments in their cybersecurity. This is the new front uh, in protection for uh, not only just critical infrastructure, but for companies to survive. And that's something they should uh, pour more money into. They're either going to pay a ransom, which apparently is allowed now, uh, or they can invest that money into people who can protect their business. But in terms of the federal government, President Biden has an obligation as a commander in chief to protect American interests and to protect the American people and their critical infrastructure. So the way that he can handle this is when he sits down at this meeting with Vladimir Putin, he can tell him there will be deterrence, there will be consequences for this, uh, and he needs to send a signal that there will be action, not just tough words about not attacking uh, companies and harboring uh, these hacking organizations inside of Russia. Uh, it's clear 10 years ago or so Vladimir Putin saw this as the new front, you know, cybersecurity and, and how much you can mm -hmm. uh, make that sector for, for any company or any country for that matter vulnerable. And we're seeing that today. Katie, thank you so much. We'll see you again soon. Katie Pavlich in D.C. Thanks. Thanks, Bill. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.